Okay, we have a question come in about what to do about an underperforming team. So you might want to listen up if you're in charge of an underperforming team or a team you think is underperforming. Um, let's look at this in terms of a sort of a hypothetical situation. So let's say that your team is coming up to an important deadline and it seems very unlikely to meet that deadline. Now, if you're the head of the team, what is your reaction? What's your instinctive reaction? Is it to go in there, you know, really grab it by the throat with, you know, an iron hand, uh, start barking orders, start micromanaging the whole thing? If that's your answer, know this. It will quite possibly solve the immediate problem, quite possibly. But it's really not dealing with the cause. The cause is usually different. And if we look at what's going on in most organizations today, that cause is simply this. It's that either you and or the dysfunctional corporate system you're in have deprived your team of agency. You've deprived them of power over their own work. You've deprived them of creative license over their own work. And the catch is that human beings don't work well this way. Not at all. If they're constantly interfered with, constantly told not what to do, not what result we're looking for, but how to do it at each stage, that's very off-putting, especially consider this. Look, you're, you're probably trying to hire the best of the best, and there is absolutely no point, no point in trying to hire some of the most qualified, most experienced, most talented people on the planet if you're not going to let them do their thing. Makes no sense. So micromanagement, it's everywhere. It has huge implications for job satisfaction, therefore for retention, and therefore for corporate reputation. And not surprisingly, most organizations believe that they have a highly functional organizational culture. And not surprisingly, the higher you go in their food chain, the, the, the stronger that illusion or delusion is. But it's actually not true. Micromanagement is everywhere. So the only, the only real question here is, are you going to empower your people? Ask yourself that. Are you willing to fully empower your people to do their jobs? Are you willing to do that? Tough question, a lot of implications there. Are you willing to do it? If not, don't worry, we'll have another video for you sometime really soon, and that one will be about why you are hemorrhaging staff. That's it for now. So remember, empower or die.